Hello Sagittarius, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're doing well. Let's jump into your reading. Let's see what is the week ahead for you, what the spirit message um, holds for you. So, Sagittarius, fire sign. Sea serpent and otter. Right, so first of all, I feel that this is pure, purely your energy. I feel that, um, I believe that last week you had as well sea serpent. And otter is a very playful energy. It's, um, it's a creature that really wants to explore their surroundings, a creature that wants really to understand where they're operating, what is the best place for them to play, um, where to, you know, settle, where to kind of create, a, you know, the best environment for them to play and really to live the family life. And Sea Serpent is really looking that deeper, deeper in into yourself uh what is the real uh meaning of a new start what is the real calling for you what is that next goal that you want to achieve and this is the energy that is asking you uh sagittarius um where you are heading how are you going to to begin that new start because if I'm not mistaken, last week, I think it was as well, a lot about new beginnings and people entering your life. So I feel that all this energy really for me, it's like if we are talking about the tarot card, it's like a, a fool who is really uh, about to jump uh, off the cliff and uh, trusting really their intuition. Um, so I think Sagittarius, this week you will be very adventurous, really looking um, outside um, and your ratios will be really far, far going. So I think you will be exploring um, new horizons, new waters. Um, if it is to do with the business, you will be looking for that uh, right place to work, what really resonates with you, what really sits with your new energy and this is this is very much um, your energy. So let's see if there is anyone else that comes into this picture. Um, anyone else? Moth. Well, again, moth is for me that uh, very, um, very delightful energy. Uh, first of all, it's a very vulnerable creature. Uh, they are attracted to a light um, and they can burn their wings. They can really, you know, without thinking, uh, fly towards the light, which obviously can hurt them. So I think the message for you from the animal spirit is very much to be cautious, um, to be aware that you, if you are going into something that you are not rushing, that every step that you will take is considered well and taught through through a process like why i'm choosing this is it beneficial for me um this light that will come into your life uh, it could be opportunity equally it could uh, mean a person so that you are not really you know jumping just because that it looks good like it appears outside really really shiny really nice so that you invest a little bit more time to try to understand, you know, who is this person or what is that situation? Um, because, yeah, because moth is a very much without thinking, uh, just going towards the light. So um, the message for you from the spirit is uh, be thoughtful um, about your needs, what works best for you. Don't try to rush the process um really try to consolidate all your um findings and make a decision then so uh take you know one step at a time sagittarius what the heart fairy has for us oh beautiful really beautiful cards sagittarius 
So I think in the past you had this sort of uh, a situation that was a lot of confusion. First of all, a situation that led or um, you feel very discombobulated, um, like a slap in the face, you know, things that you thought um, will be fun, will be um, entertaining. Uh, it kind of led you into this um, yeah, expression to say, oh no, you know, what have I done? Um, there was a burst, an energy explosion uh, straight into your face that really kind of um, just, yeah, didn't go very well. And obviously you are very, very, very aware uh, about the consequences. And probably these consequences really push you to, to make this new start, Sagittarius. However, the fairy is saying, look, the present moment is that you are like a child. You are like a child who is exploring, um, like I say, this author is a very much equal to this energy. Um, you are exploring your surroundings. You're not having any limits, any borders. Um, you know, with the light heart looking into your environment, very curious, very interested to understand who is who, what is what. Um, trying to learn something because the child energy is very much like a, a sponge um, that observes and really learns in the moment. So I think for you will be a calling um, from, from the spirits to start learning something, start uh, engaging with some, some information, information that will be very, very beneficial for you. And then we are getting this, um, the star fairy card. The star fairy card is like, I would say, uh, the most brightest um, uh, cards uh, from the heart of the fairies um, deck. Uh, and it's really speaking about being looked after the highest spirit because the star fairy is like a mother of all fairies. Um, she is a guiding, leading, supporting, um, taking care of all those fairies if they are lost, if they need the guidance and, and you will feel that in a, in a guidance, uh, that someone is telling you what to do, what is the next step. It's maybe as well, you have a protector over your shoulder. We are even, even talking about your, um, angel, earth angel. Whoever that is, they are looking after you. They are thinking about you. They, they want that you succeed. They want that you would be safe and um, looked after. So you are protected, Sagittarius. Um, the new uh, exploration will lead you into something really magical, something very beautiful. Um, I cannot promise that you will uh, solidly uh, conquer uh, this in the next seven days, um, the project or, or, or it's only the, the process of searching, um, a process of looking around and being curious and learning. This is the week for you to do so. And we will see uh, how, you know, this will play out in the, in the following, you know, weeks. But I feel that you are on something really big and something very promising, magical, and you have your angel um, by your side. Um, the angel is looking after you, my dear Sagittarius. Wow, what a beautiful card. So again, look, we're getting um, he of the fairy sword fairy. And we're getting a uh, guardian at the gate. And these cars sort of uh, came from these both sides. And in the middle, we got um, the gau gaucher. And what does it mean? It means that it means that you are really, really still in that mindset, the old mindset of feeling insecure, feeling very... Um, just uh, doubting yourself, you know, bringing your insecurities each time when something new is happening, something that you need to make a decision. You seems like you you closing yourself with old um, 
experiences, you know, all the emotions, all the fears, things that didn't work out. It seems that you are trying to experiencing the same emotions in a new situation, but this is not helping you as Sagittarius. Um, in a new in a new situation, you need to experience new emotions. You should not you should not um, try to um, how to say um, you should not allow yourself to go back in the days what you have experienced and you know if it was a bad experience that you are bringing in a new situation the same emotions because you are um, hijacking you know your own life uh, I mean you know you're not allowing yourself to live the life um, but these fairies are saying there are so much help and there will be a clarity coming into your life um, there will be a situations resolving so you will see how things are falling into the right place so whatever you are dealing right now, Sagittarius, this will get resolved and you will have as well help of uh, people taking you to a new, new uh, life experience. You know, if it is a job, if it is a house hunting, if it is a new relationship, if you are seeking for friendships and new people will be coming into your life. And don't allow yourself to go through the same old emotions and fears and 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 don't isolate yourself the message are very very clearly saying don't um, isolate yourself don't put yourself in the box go and do that exploration if your mind is uh, playing at the moment and kind of you are in in two minds if i should you know embrace the adventurous side or shall i just isolate myself I really, really see from the spirit saying, go and explore, go and enjoy the new experience. Do not limit yourself with the old fears and interjected um, doubts, really. Um, that's the message that I'm getting, Sagittarius. And you should really um, embrace the fact that you are the phoenix who have um, risen, you know, a while and you need, you know, to... Um, bring in new experiences in your life. You need to live your life differently. You cannot go back and just be comfortable because you know what it feels failure, you know what it feels um, uh, not being successful. This is not an option. You are exploring new horizons which will protect you. You have your angels. They they will look after you in and they are saying, please, Sagittarius, do not be afraid. You have to live life that the destiny is giving you. Do not stop yourself from experiencing the joy of life. This is the message, Sagittarius, for you. So go and explore. And uh, if you like a personal reading, please directly message me. Uh, if not, I will see you next week. Good luck and uh, all the best.